A question of character. The Teenaged Mutant Ninja Turtles are lawless vigilantes. Reptiles in human form roaming the streets and trained to kill with lethal blades. Prohibited weaponry. They answer to no one. They answer to Splinter. Splinter was a human. The turtles are turtles. But they are also ninjas. Are you getting this yet? After the turtles mutated into teenaged men, he decided to teach them the art of ninjutsu and name them after famous Italian artists like any normal man would do while living in the sewer. The turtles are fighting to turn this rat man back into a human. The turtles are friends with news reporter April O'Neil, who the turtles must rescue. April is human. She has always been human. April is being hailed by Bebop and Rocksteady. They used to be human. They are now a pig and rhinoceros. Are you getting this yet? The turtles are teenaged street guardians. They literally roam the streets and get hit by steamrollers. The turtles traverse the sewers that are filled with pizza and ninjas. The dam is also filled with pizza and ninjas. Everywhere in this city is brimming with pizza and ninjas. Sewer pizza, cave pizza, warehouse pizza. After they complete their mission, they go for pizza. The turtles travel in the party wagon. However, this wagon is less about parties and more about anti-tank missiles. They also travel by way of blimp, not worrying of being inconspicuous. They want you to know there are turtles in this blimp. Ninja turtles that are teenaged and can destroy you with van missiles. Are you getting this yet? The turtles' greatest enemy is the Shredder. However, the turtles' actual greatest enemies are small jumping gaps. See, all you have to do is, uh, it's just a simple, no, if they could, uh, just jump over the hole. They will walk the gap. The turtles must come constantly face these tiny gaps with ginger walks. Think tiny, Donatello. The turtles can swim. However, the turtles cannot swim. The turtles are adept at the finest in ninjutsu weaponry. Leonardo's katana blade. Strike up. Donatello's bow. Thrust down. Michelangelo's nunchuck. Attack. And Raphael's useless salad forks. This is the raid the turtles do not want to get hit by. The life transformer gun. And this is why Raphael will go first. By defeating Shredder, the turtles can use the life transformer gun and blast Splinter's giant rat head into a normal human one, returning him into the man he once was. However, they do not want to turn into the turtles they once were, because they would then become the infant normal pointless turtles. After the turtles defeat the teenage mutant imposter turtle, Mega Turtle, Splinter will slowly float down from 30 feet in the air in cane formation. Only a true master can achieve this feat because otherwise it doesn't really make sense. Splinter and April will then provide support and April will constantly remind you that you have her support. Constantly. Constantly. But constantly. Right until the very end. Splinter will remind you that you can do it, even when it's fairly obvious that you cannot. We're looking at you, Raphael. New York, New York is a turtling town. Sure. And these ninja teens are all for one and one for all. No teenage mutant ninja will be left behind because none of them want to be led onto the menu at McTurtle, home of the quarter flounder with cheese. What? Does that even mean? Are you getting this yet? Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.